Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. Higher Learning is what you would call a great movie. A film directed and written by John Singleton. Rest in peace. He died several years ago. But a lot of black people understand how important John Singleton was as a director in terms of telling black stories on screen. But in this particular film, you have a bunch of different characters who are freshmen at college, different genders, different ethnicities, different social backgrounds, as they try to navigate their way through the world that is college. And it's interesting to me how John Singleton can tell the perspective of a black man, a white man, a white woman, issues surrounding women, white men, black men. It's very balanced in this particular film. In the hands of somebody that doesn't understand one or the other, in the hands of a sloppy writer and director, this movie wouldn't have come across as well. The performances in this movie are outstanding. You have a great cast of actors and actresses that really sell the roles that are presented on screen. I am a black man. I have not been to college in terms of taking full courses. There were a couple of times where I went to a few college classes just to be with some friends of mine who were attending college, but I've never gone to college in that way. So I don't know what that is like to be a freshman in college. You have to be careful as there are social constructs within college, some good, some bad. And if you are mentally weak, easily influenced, you could very well fall into the wrong group of individuals. And you see that in this particular film. Being a woman is obviously not easy. Being a black man is not easy. I don't think that anyone can say 100% that it's easy, depending on the gender, the race, what social background you come from. Certain things can be easier, but there's a difference between easier and easy. This movie sparks a lot of thought while being entertaining. Thanks to all the individuals I have on screen here and obviously other cast members that are not on screen here. But just being in a position where you are in college, it is an opportunity to learn something, to grow, to better your future. So that way you can help yourself and those around you. As a black man, you must be smart. You must make the right decisions because even when you do, bad things can happen. You can be treated unfairly. You could be a victim of racism, you know, somebody that gets incarcerated. There's all, there's all sorts of things that can happen, but no matter what gender you are, what race you are, what your social background is, what your education is, you have a responsibility to conduct yourself accordingly in life. So you'll pick up on all these different intelligent life philosophies while watching this film, while, you know, living and seeing it through these characters' eyes. So there's a lot of individuals in here that the audience can relate to whether it be the black characters, whether it be the white characters, the idea of trying to fit in and find your place in the world or in college and you coming a long way from home and this is going to be your second home, so to speak, in this school environment. On a scale from one to 10, one being horseshit on a hot, smelly ass day and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm gonna give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. I think the greatness about this movie is when you compare it 
to a lot of films that come out today. A lot of films that come out today don't have anything to say. They're just merely entertainment, a bunch of special effects, and you could turn your brain off and you may be able to enjoy the movie. This particular film, you should not turn your brain off. Your brain should be on. Because I feel like your enjoyment of the film will depend on how much and how well you process everything that is given to you. Because this movie is about dialogue. It's about acting, character development, character growth. What a person does with new circumstances, strange circumstances, unfamiliar circumstances. And how much mental strength it takes to respond accordingly in these situations. You make the wrong choice is over. You make the right choice. Things might be fine. Maybe they won't be. Wow, what a thought-provoking film. I highly recommend this to anyone. It doesn't matter what gender you are, what race you are, what your social background is. I think that if you are a black person, I think uh, you will enjoy certain elements that are introduced in this film as it mirrors reality. And then, again, even if you are not black, if you are white, Hispanic, Asian, I feel like there are themes in this movie that are universal. That no matter where you come from, who you are, you will appreciate it if you like a film that is good with characters and storytelling. Terrence out.